hi Sarah here with a special layout process video for you today this is for the national scrapbooking day um, we are doing some challenges over in the UK scrap addict Facebook group and I'm doing challenge 11 so this is the accompanying video for that um, each of our challenges is sponsored and this one is sponsored by artful days who's offering the four stamps you saw at the beginning of the video so thanks so much to artful days and so do head over to the group if you want to join in this weekend. Um, I will leave links below for you to be able to join in and I'll also leave links to Artful Days, our sponsor for this challenge. So my challenge is Challenge 11 Phantom Menace. Uh, it's to do a layout that's about a cheeky little menace, someone who plays practical cool jokes, or you could go in a different direction and go with something like a ghastly menacing experience. So I've gone with cheeky little menace because I have one of those definitely in my life and so to begin with here I am just creating my own background ready because I've got some embellishments but I didn't have enough paper to go with it so I thought I'll just create my own background using colours that are in the rest of my papers. So to do that I've used Distress Oxides in Mermaid Lagoon, Twisted Citron, Spiced Marmalade and Squeezed Lemonade and I've put them through a stencil first of all and then now I'm going around the edge and just blending them together um, just to create um, a bit of a border around the whole thing because it looked a bit stark with just the stars on their own and it's not perfect but I don't worry about that because now I'm going to add some water droplets let them sit and then they activate with the distress oxides and um, then I'll just roll some paper over the top and it adds an extra layer of interest to the background. I'm just making sure I've got it all over my layout first and then I'm just gonna roll off the water and as you can see I've got those lovely distressed um, marks all over it now. And then I'm just going back in, adding a few more where I feel like there's not enough there and just dabbing those up straight away so it's got a different level of distress they're not as dark and um, not as stark as the other ones so now I've finished my background I'm going to leave that to dry and add this stamp here it's just a scripty stamp I can't remember the brand I'm sorry I think it was from Hobbycraft um, it might be a, by the crafters companion company I'm not sure though so I'm just using some VersaFine grey ink and I don't want a really dark impression that's why I didn't use black because I didn't want it to be overpowering on the background I just wanted to add a little bit more to the background there and now I'm going to be adding some texture paste this one is the Bow Bunny Glitter Paste in Ruby Red I think it's called and I'm just going to mix it up in there and the reason I'm using this it might seem like a bit of a contrast to the background but within the embellishments that I'm using there is red foil so it actually does actually work later on <laughs> you'll see so I'm just pushing it through the stencil it takes a bit more work because of the glitter in this to get it to go through plus the stencil is a nice fine um, one so it's uh it does take a bit more to push it through the stencil and I just cut a bit of that out there because otherwise the video would go on forever so um, there's the finished stars and I decided to put them round about where I wanted my little photos to be going now I've done that I want to make the stamped um, bits blend in with the background so I added some um, pumice stone I think it was um, distressing just normal distressing just edged all around the layout just to add a bit more um, to the background there as well and now I'm just going to take my papers this kits by mind the scrap by the way it's a couple of years old now though I think so it's obviously not available anymore um, and I'm just adding my paper layers behind my photos what I do is I add foam as well between each layer so that it just adds a bit more dimension and then I can tuck in embellishments in between the layers if I wish to do so 
I also do distress the edges of my papers with just with some scissors. I have these cute little frames also in the kit that I used today and I am just going to frame the main photo at the bottom and then just one of the little ones where my little boy would not behave for the photo. So I'm just tearing a few um, different papers and just layering them behind them, tiny photos as well, so that they don't end up lost in the background. Next up I'm using these lovely resin pieces from art Four days the sponsor and I'm just adding some clear gesso to them using a brush and I just uh, let that dry I don't show the entire thing <laughs> let that dry and then um, I will add some color on top of that later so here's the foam I use I use um, foam from Hobbycraft's children's section rather than buying foam tape because it gives an even coverage on the back you just trim it to size and it's so much cheaper as well so I tend to add a few layers and then um, I double it up because it is quite thin foam so I sometimes double it up if I want to lift a photo more because I want this one to lift slightly more than the others because it is the main focal point and I'm just going to stick together my um, little photos, add a little bit of foam between those as well and add them to the background. My photos here are um, from when I went out with my mum when she was visiting and we tried to get a nice picture with my little boy and he would not stop going cross-eyed and giggling and it took so long to get a picture where he was smiling unfortunately the one where he's smiling my mum's looking down <laughs> but never mind it was a fun memory anyway to record so now i've taken my distress oxides again i'm just adding a very little bit of water just to make the ink move more easily and then i'm adding it onto these stars i'm doing the darker color around the edge and then I'm coming in with the lighter colour on the peaks of the stars and then I'm just blending them together afterwards in the corners. As you can see with this first one, I don't show this for all of them because again the video would be very very long. And that is the general effect. And I did one with the blue and green and one with the orange and yellow so that they blend in nicely with the background. And now I'm just adding a little bit of foam behind each of those smaller photos and then I'll stick them down after. So I'm grabbing my embellishments now. I just want to add them dotted around here and there um, in between the stars. And then I've got some stickers as well. Again, I'm just arranging them around the layout. I do end up taking that cat one off because I find that it's too much and I didn't want to draw away from the photo by having such a bold um, cartoony character right on the picture and then I'm just adding in those foil um, lightning bolts stars and now my um, thickers these are really sticky and I ripped the bottom as you can see but I just carried on I thought I'll do with that later <laughs> and you'll see how I dealt with it later in a minute and now I'm just gluing the whole lot down with my 3D gloss gel because I've got some mixed media and it's glittery. It really helps the paper bond because um, otherwise it probably just peel back off again. I find that a lot with once you're layering on top of texture paste. And as you can see, I just grab my um, blending tools and blend the colours over the top until it's pretty much gone now. So I'm happy with that. That'll do. And now I'm just adding some word stickers over each of the photos to form a sentence. And I've covered up my photos and I'm just going to finish off with some splashes of Cherry Heidi Swap Colour Shine, which I think makes the stars look less sort of angled and less stenciled, if that makes sense. So I just add that all around the edge just as a finishing touch. So that is me done. Thanks for joining me. Do like and subscribe UK Scrap Addicts to see more process videos. And I'll also leave my personal channel below if you want to subscribe to me to see more of my videos. Thanks again to our sponsor, art for days And go head over to UK Scrap Addicts and join in for the National Scrapbooking um, Weekender. So here's some close-ups. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.